and said, there are places in Africa that are lovely beyond singing of them. These are places of majesty and beauty, of grandeur so sweeping they will make you weep. They are places in dreams, places to treasure and to savor. This is southern Mozambique. This area began its modern life as the southern migration route of one of the last free-roaming elephant herds in Africa. These elephants move from deep sand forests, through open grasslands and wetlands, down to the shores of the Indian Ocean, where the behemoths of the land meet the behemoths of the sea, the majestic whales. Alongside the whales, you'll discover and be enchanted by dolphins, whale sharks, manta rays, dugong, and some of the healthiest coral reefs in the world, unaffected by bleaching and global warming. A group of investors would like to replace this pristine wilderness with a man-made deep water harbour and industrial zone. An industrial zone so large that it dwarfs any other facility on the African continent. The project at Teko Benin could develop 30,000 hectares of pristine wilderness. This is the size of a large city, like Durban, South Africa. Plus a phase one population of 250,000 people is expected to be introduced. Today, this wilderness is on the brink of gaining world heritage status. This status is now under threat and may never happen. You may ask why would a nation allow this to happen to their people's natural heritage? Everyone has a right to jobs, prosperity and development, but how can something so unique and so special be destroyed forever? The government will argue that this project is for the development of the country and to create much needed jobs. But is that really true? Is this the best long-term sustainable solution? What will happen if this area is polluted, destroyed and consumed? The people of Mozambique have suffered a troubled past and deserve a bright future. Despite the threat of the port, the government has recognized the region's natural wonders and has already supported international efforts to expand and combine several protected areas in the region. These plans could reunite the last free-roaming elephant herds, allowing these majestic animals to once again walk their ancient migration routes. These plans would protect the forests the wetlands, mangroves, swamps, the savannas, the beaches, coral reefs, the turtles and the whales. These plans could also give the Mozambican people a sustainable, proud and exciting future that should be shared with the citizens of the world. Teka Benin is a place in Africa, lovely beyond the singing of it. It must not become an industrial harbour.
The government of Mozambique needs your help to do the right thing for its people, for the environment, and to stop the greed and ecological destruction that this development would cause. Please visit our website today and show your support to help save Teka Benin. Let's put our planet first. Visit www.facebook.com forward slash Save Debella. <laughs>